A major announcement today that 235 people in Chattanooga will lose their jobs. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. GE says it will close three Austin plants downtown. Brittany Martin spoke with one family of one of those employees. She tells us why this could not come at a worse time for that family. Brittany. Josh, the wife of an employee tells me she doesn't want to share her name. She does say that she's no longer able to work. Now news that her husband is out of a job she says is devastating. It was just, well, sad, heartbreaking, scary. Many families had this reaction Tuesday after news that three Austin plants downtown will be closing. For this family, they thought this morning's meeting would be an exciting announcement. I guess we were probably thinking bigger and better things, you know. So it was a shock. <laughs> Still a shock. GE announced it will be closing the plants by the end of the year. The company says they're shutting down because of challenges the power industry continues to face. With my husband, he had hoped to stay till retirement age, but wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so it will be starting over in all aspects. A scary time for the couple. The wife recently got sick and had to quit working. Lately, I've had uh, some illnesses that I've dealt with, and. So we've gone from a two income family to a one income family. With news that her husband could soon be without a job too. She says they're hopeful something will work out. A lot of praying, networking, seeing who's hiring, <laughs> um, and just hoping that for the best and that something even better will come along. The couple tells me they're thankful they do have until the end of the year to figure out what's next. Josh. Brittany, thank you. In 2008, the company agreed to provide a certain number of jobs in exchange for the tax break. But last July, the city and county held Austin accountable after they did not create the amount of jobs they promised. That agreement meant Austin would pay 50% of their tax liability moving forward. The city says they have spoken with the leadership at GE and are still working on a solution to the existing agreement.